Yeah, I'm Daniel, nice to meet you everyone. I'm representing the Radio Tilos, which uh, I think most of you, you don't know, you never heard about it. But you should know that it's, uh, it's a well-known underground radio here in, uh, in Hungary, in Budapest. We've heard that. Just a minute, just, just so let's go to the first slide to, for the facts. So we've been established in 1991 as a pilot radio without having any license actually in order to, to fight for the, for the legislation, for the, for the licenses in Hungary to be able to broadcast and we succeed. So we received, later on for like uh, four years later, we received our own frequency which we can use. There were many things happened in the last 20, 20 years with this frequency but we keep, we, we still sending and we are online and everything is working. So we don't have <coughs> only two people who are paid in our, or in our NGO and uh, everyone else is involved as on a voluntary base and these 250 people who are working in the radio, who are doing the radio shows they are representing, as you can see, many civic projects and all the underground music scenes and arts and everything because as, you know, as, as being a, a volunteer based, based community radio those people are always involved in this, in this project we don't have any advertisements which means that we have to we have to do fundraising very much. It's very important, and we get more than 50 percent of our finance for these kind of actions. So it's really, really uh, playing a role uh, uh, role position in our our financing. And you should know that the government these years, how should I say, maybe it's not exactly the same direction as we are thinking or they think that we are thinking. So we have. Uh, some doubts about the future, maybe financial, financial, financial situations. But anyway, uh, all those 16,000 people who are listening to us, they will help us in the future for sure. I'm pretty sure about it. As you can see, we, our, our, uh, our budget is something like 80,000 euro per year. It's not too much, but we are a small radio, and we also we only have to broadcast. We don't really have to pay anyone, so it's, it it works. Um, but let's see what is what is our what are our fundraising uh, methods. As I don't know if, if anyone was um, was talking about it earlier, but we have this one mm -hmm. person. Okay, you know them. Um, we do we do the Tiros Marathon, which is very important. It's a, it's it's a kind of festival for a, for a week. You will see some pictures and later some some details. And of course, we get donations during the year. And we try to do the paper, but not really working. And we've got these long-term monthly donations later you will see. Okay, let's see this, this one person tax donation campaign. Uh, this is very, very important uh, in, our, in our finance. As you can see, in 2010, it was 33,000 euro, what we get from our supporters. And, and uh, you will see that in 2011, it's, it was uh, going down because of this 16th uh, person flat tax, which is very good. <laughs> uh, and of course, then, then, it, then okay, okay, you know the facts about this one, one, uh, one person tax in Hungary that we have two deadlines: one for the for the enterprises, for the companies, and one for the individuals. So we twice we have to push it in the in the radio quite quite uh, hard. And just to talk about the facts, which is which is I think more important than these these. Uh, the slides is that how we do that, how we how we get the people to to pay, I mean to to, to give the one person for us. And one good example, um, I was I was choosing uh, a radio spot which maybe at least a little bit you'll be able to understand because this is the voice of Eric Cartman from the South Park, <laughs> and I'm the Hungarian voice and in the same style with the same f words and stuff so this is really going into the to that direction which is good for the audience and they like it just a short one okay. just a really uh, just just a, a really small spot and the, and the longer one can you hear it okay i will be very excited <coughs> Yeah, I got a huge cultural job, it's 
very low budget uh, CDs, but with really good content, of course. Uh, we've got uh, CDs and DVDs for children, uh, nice fairy tales and stuff. It's, it's, uh, it's another one. I don't know, maybe you have heard about that we had a really nice issue with ICT and the Hungary Hang and Media Authority. I don't know, anyone heard about it? Not important. In the, during the lunch, I will, I will, I will tell you. <laughs> interested in, it was very, very funny. Just in Nashua, okay? The, we, had, we, we played one song from ICT where he is, as usually, he's playing quiet, where he's uh, talking quite rude. And we had a big, a huge problem with the, with the media authority because of playing this this song, and we've been very, very much surprised about it. What the fuck? I mean, this, this, <laughs> this guy is 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 a rapper. He's a hip hop star. He's yeah, he's singing like that. But they wanted to to make a, make a trial against us, but it was a really good uh, uh, marketing uh, on our side. Uh, and as you can see. If if you can see here are the, the children, we are also during this marathon we have we have some theme theme days, okay, which is focusing, uh, one one for the children, one for the for the uh, for the bikers. It's, it's quite important to have these separated days. Uh, what else do we have? Yeah, uh, yeah, and uh, I've got plenty of calendars uh, for all of us here. Um, what you can get a little bit later after my presentation. Um, let me show this very simple, simple idea to have all the people who are working for us uh, in a calendar. So the, the really the big fans, they can watch every day <laughs> all those people who they are listening to. Actually, really good photos. Mm -hmm. And I was not not at home at that week when they were shooting oh. this picture, so I'm not in this. You're not in. <laughs> no. Uh, this, it, it, it's another, uh, it's another thing. What we, what we do during this marathon, that we are cooking in a big kettle uh, for the fans. And as you can imagine, I mean, being on a festival, you not only drink, you eat. So <coughs> what we do is to go to the donation store and donate a little money, uh, like a thousand, which is the three euros, four euros, and um, you can get a nice meal cooked by the people who are working for the radio. So the one who is talking to you on, on Friday evening, the one who is making you your bograch uh, Some nice people here from the from the radio, friends of us. And as I as I as I uh, told you, there's so many bike uh, bikers around all the time. You can and, and everywhere there is a, there is a Tirish radio event. There are plenty of bikes here. <laughs> Show the way where are we? Okay, um, and of course everything is worked on on voluntary basis. No one gets any money. One minute left. This is crazy. Um, okay, in one minute, just just one more imp important thing is uh, that we are trying to do this long term multi donations. Uh, in one hand, all the people involved in radio they have to pay. Uh, a membership fee, which is a thousand foreign per, per month, three euros per month. Um, and what <coughs> I wanted to do is to push a little bit this this uh, this thing, and to have the supporters, the listeners, to be or monthly donators. But uh, as as the radio doesn't have anyone dedicated to the fundraising, it's not an easy thing to to do. We don't have. Uh, you know, we don't have the, the finance to, to pay someone's work to work on this issue, which of course would, would work later on. But let's see. And yeah, this is like a little, a small amount of the, the volunteers, the radio, who are involved in these things. Um, I will give you all these presents. I mean, I will, I will leave them next to the coffee. Anyway, you will see. And uh, thank you for your, for your patience and audience. And Thank you.